Hello guys and welcome to another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. In this video, we'll complete the left path of the Spring of Sorrow gauntlet and we can complete four objectives in a single run. Now the first objective will be 2017, 2018, 2019 and 2020 year champions. Second objective is at least one clarity champion. Third objective is at least one house of mirror champion. And fourth one will be using only cosmic and tech champs in the team. Now the champs I'll be using for this path are Angela, Guardian and Heimdall. Angela will take care of 3 out of 4 fights and Guardian is for the Iron Fist fight. Guardian also has a very useful synergy which gives extra block proficiency to all team members. Notes on the first boss, Vision are Demon Mimic, Immunity Armor Break, Resistance is Futile, Down and Out, CQC Expert, SP2 Bias and I am Root. Now most important part of this fight is practicing to dex SP1 from wave vision because that will be a guaranteed opening to get our 5 hit combos. One more thing to note is that as long as we have at least one bar of power, wave's special attack can go unblockable. So avoid using SPs if possible and keep our power level above one bar. Also definitely avoid using heavy attacks cause heavy attacks will start a 10 seconds counter. And if we don't use special attacks in that time, we will lose 50% of HP as direct damage. I'm using Angela as she will regen quite a lot of health from her buffs. Also Guardian Synergy will give us extra block proficiency. Now I'm using a 7 star rank 3 Angela and she can solo this fight if played right. And if you guys do not have a 7 star, you can also use the 6 star version of Angela with boosts to finish this fight quickly. Even with a 6 star, I believe this fight can be done using very few revives. The difficulty of this quest is on par with the end game content so using revives is not a bad option. Also please equip the highest star relic available, strike strikers help in getting extra opening against the boss. Avoid parrying cause parry stun will need 2 well timed blocks to activate and she will gain phase passive on the first parry every time. Avoid punishing. Avoid pushing her to SP2 because when she activates her special 2, due to the node, we will have to parry every single hit from the special, otherwise attacker loses 10% health for every hit. And for the relic, I will suggest Thor relic of the highest star level available. Thor relic on activation gives aptitude buff, increasing the potency of fury, armor up and precision buff. Now third champ on my team is Heimdall which is a 2018 cosmic champ. The synergy gives every champ on the team an extra chance to stay alive or tank some extra hits. Also with Angela synergy it gives an infinite duration fury buff of 15%. To activate this fury attacker need to dash back and hold block for 1.5 seconds. Next let's move on to the second fight against Iron Fist. Nodes on the Iron Fist boss are I am Root, Encroaching Root, Pressure Gauge, Ebb and Flow Heavy, Study As She Goes, All Natural, Right Block, Kinetic Convenience and Adamant Axiom. Attacker starts with 5 charges on the Pressure Gauge. Successful hits grant 1 charge and blocking hits remove 1 charge. Now at 0 charges attacker will be power drained to 0 and at 10, and at 10 charges attacker will take direct damage equal to 200% of defender's attack. Boss also has a protection which reduces damage by 60%. We can remove this by using a heavy attack. I would suggest keeping the pressure gauge between 2 and 7. Strategy for this fight is to push Iron Fist over a bar of power and keep our pressure gauge charge at around 6 or 7. Now we can parry SP1 from Iron Fist and punish his special with heavy to remove the protection. Now since we can't gain any buffs, Guardian's auto block will not work and we'll have to manually parry SPs from Iron Fist. Once the protection is down, we can activate Guardian's SP2 for max damage. Iron Fist is immune to debuffs but extra shock damage from Guardian's crits will still do shock energy damage to Iron Fist. This extra damage scales with the critical damage rating and with cruelty passive that we gain from knocking Iron Fist down. This fight needs quite a bit of practice to get into the flow. For me, I had to use around 3 revives 
for a 7 star rank 1 guardian to KO him but with a 7 star rank 2 or rank 3 guardian this fight will be even faster. We don't need any specific counter for this fight, we just have to keep track of a lot of things from nodes which makes this fight very tricky. Next up is the Gwenpool fight. Now Gwenpool fight is relatively easy as compared to the other fights in the gauntlet. Now the biggest and the only issue is the rotating reverse control every 8 seconds. Nodes on Gwenpool are Adamant Axiom, Study loses the race, Swipe left the other left, Unblockable specials, Matador, you are already dead, Offensive speciality, Special Connoisseur, SP1 bias and Impending Extortion. We have to keep the boss above 1 bar of power, otherwise every 14 seconds attacker will take 50% of max HP as direct damage. Reverse control immune champs will not work as they will suffer a constant degen until they KO. Now since all SPs from Gwenpool are unblockable, reverse control really makes it tricky to dex them. Also if we get hit by any of the special, another counter will start and before that counter ends we have to complete our combo ender with a light attack to avoid a certain death. But once we get used to the reverse control switching the fight is manageable. Again for the fight we don't need any specific counter, any champ will work as long as we can keep track of the reverse control. Now I am using Angela again for this fight but any champ even at 6 star rank 4 or rank 5 level should be able to finish this fight. So after this there is the final boss Jessica Jones. Final boss for Spring of Sorrow Gauntlet is Jessica Jones. Notes on the boss are Free Spirited, Cold Turkey, SP Burst Lockdown, Dawn of Protection, Shed Skin, Stoppable, Punish Specials, Critical Interruption, Combo Party and Crit Me Baby. The champ we have in our team for the objective doesn't have a slow effect but to counter Unstoppable from Jessica we have to punish her special. So the strategy is to push her to SP2 cause that is very easy to dex and punish. As soon as we punish her SP2, attacker will gain grit passive for 6 seconds. Now this is false during special and striker attacks. Grit passive can override unstoppable effects on the opponent. Now this node help us counter the biggest problem of unstoppable. Defender takes 30% more damage from critical hits and 60% less from all the other hits. So critical hits will finish the fight very quickly. Also intercepting gives us a guaranteed crit for 7 seconds. Champs that can purify or cleanse will take degen damage equal to 30% of defender's attack. This fight is manageable as long as we keep pushing her to sp2 and punishing immediately. 
Angela really worked very well for this fight and this fight also doesn't need any specific counters. I hope this helped you guys in tackling the Spring of Sorrow gauntlet and with our team we have completed 4 objectives in a single run. Hope you guys like the video and please consider subscribing for more guides. And as always thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.